Today, we eat like the troops. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the men and women who have served. Now, Link, I got a question for you that I promise is Veterans Day related. Okay. What is the longest that you have saved leftovers for and then still ate it? Uh, eight day old fried chicken. Oh, eight day old. I normally say one week, so you're a little bit braver than me. Yeah. Well, these puppies will be ready for you up to 10 years from now. Yes, this meal ready to eat, AKA an MRE, it's eaten by troops all across the world, partly because they can withstand these extreme conditions and also because they have a shelf life of between five and 10 years. And we did this a few years back, but turns out we were only scratching the surface. It's time for, we salute our troops for their bravery and service, but these MREs make our tum tums so nervous. We have acquired six authentic US military MREs, or as I like to call them, MREs, that we are <laughs> going to sample and then rank. And now we're gonna go ahead and heat up the shredded beef in barbecue sauce right now so it can get to cooking over the course of the episode. Okay, so. Rhett, let them have it. It comes with this, this, this. <laughs> right. It comes with this, yeah, I ripped from the wrong side. And then I'm gonna just stick. Yeah. This is the part that you're gonna actually heat up. So this is the, uh, the the shredded beef and barbecue. We're not really worried about the sides because we're so doing that's going down in the thing. entrees. And then I'm just gonna pour some water in there. It could be any water because this is just to cause a chemical reaction. Here's some barbecue sauce. Not, don't wanna use that? Okay. Let's see. Now I'm gonna take this thing and uh, give me that. Oh. I need the thing that oh, you so have. Oh, it's, so it's a hot pocket type situation. Yep, don't ever say that out in the field. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then you take this thing and you prop it up against it, a rock. It literally says prop up against a rock, right? Because you got to keep it about up. ten minutes to cook, and so we're going to get back to that in a second. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to try the other MREs that are that are sitting and waiting for us, uh, and we're going to rank them on this board. Yes, we have from going from worst to best, red, white, and boo, rank and vile. Sir, just okay, sir. <laughs> Saving Private Ryum. <laughs> You're a grand old plate and a 10 out of 10 hut. 10 hut. First up, we have the chicken burrito bowl, mm. and it is nice and warm. Where's the bowl? <laughs> now I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah, the 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 bowl is just the packaging. We're gonna we're gonna rip this thing open. You can go ahead and rip, rip it. I think rip it straight down the side. Oh, it's nice and warm. Uh, Hot even. Yeah, we got some tortillas here to go with it. A little pepper sauce. Now it also comes with a side dish, dessert, crackers, spread, powdered beverage mix, utensils, accessory pack, gum, napkin and toilet paper, moist towelette, and seasoning. We paid twenty six dollars for this on eBay because I mean, there's a there's a culture of people reselling these things because, oh, thank you. Uh, because if if you want to get it officially, well, you need to be in the military. But there's like. But there's some out there. I didn't realize that the shelf life, you know, you can get some of the sort of like the prepper sort of food that I have that, or like that Jim Baker provides <laughs> that we tried on the show. That Jim stuff will last like 25, 30 years. This isn't gonna last that long because it's, it's like, you know, and it's gonna be five to 10 years or so, but it's more about just, it's a meal ready to eat out in the field. Chicken burrito bowl, but we're making a taco. Mmm. That's not, that's not bad at all. It's not just not bad, it's good. How hungry are you right now? I'm always very hungry. But I think that's the perfect time to, that's what you need to be in when you're eating an MRE. You know, out there, you're doing, you're working hard. Yeah, you're active. So, and look at all, all the all the pieces are familiar to me. It's, it's not, it's not this full is size not, pieces, man. This is not scary. I mean, I, and it's got some beans in it, right? I know you love that. I'm gonna just put it at number three because that's setting the bar pretty high. But he who, can move who knows, up. Who knows what we're gonna encounter here? All right, next up we have the Asian style beef strips with vegetables, and this was actually suggested on the video last time we did it from Thomas Wilkerson, who said, I am a Marine, and I suggest the Asian beef strips, which when I was in training, this was the worst MRE out of them all. Ho <laughs> ho, Brandon Anderson also commented and backed that up. Y'all missed the guaranteed last place Asian beef strips. So we're a little, we're a little bit afraid. Shaking in our boots. Combat boots, perhaps? Nope, I'm wearing 
tennis shoes. <laughs> so you know, I made a hole for you and a hole for me. Oh, okay. We can let's just suck out of each end. <laughs> no, see let, who gets happier. Let's just stick some scissors. We don't know where they've been. Let's just stick them in there. And open it up. Now let's just take a look down in there. I don't know. Don't spill and you it got out. yourself a Asian beef strips. Can I can I get down on it? Nope. Just to scent it. Can I Ooh. get down on it? Oh my gosh, this I would not get down on this. Th this is why I mean, everyone has their own. <laughs> you guys made me made, made me scared, but it, it smells kind of dog foody. It smells a little off. It's not horrible. The noodles are real hard. Maybe that's because it's a bamboo shoot. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be based on Thomas and Brandon. The, the beef strips are horrible, <laughs> dude. Thomas. That's not horrible. Just like, yes it is. Is that That's as low as you go. No, it's not horrible. I mean, it's That a, means it's horrible. It's way worse than the chicken burrito bowl, so we're in agreement there. I'm just trying to be honest, And bro. you know what? I, I'm gonna go with what they said, and then. I feel like it could get worse. No. Nope. I'm just leaving no, open I'm, the possibility taking... that it could get worse. <laughs> I wanted to remind you that next Thursday there will be no episode of Good Mythical Morning. You know why? Because there's gonna be an all day live stream right here on this channel from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do a lot of stuff all day. We're gonna be raising money all day long to benefit an incredible charity, Inner City Arts. They've been providing arts education to underserved school age kids here in the LA area for over 30 years. And we want you to be a part of the fun and also raising money. So set your calendars and we will see you there. Hang out with us. Okay, next up we got chili and macaroni. Uh, this one, we heard a lot of good stuff about. Many service members uh, told us it was their favorite in the comments on our last MRE taste test. So we're listening to y'all. And in fact, uh, many Mythical crew members have friends who are veterans. They also agreed that this, the uh, expectations are very high. Okay. This comes out to like less than nine bucks if you buy 12 for $107. Oh, look at this. I did it right on that one. Woo, yeah. yeah. Oh, I looked down at my fork and I almost poked myself in the eye. You know, it happens to the best of us. Thought about wearing the vest with Sans shirt. I think not. Uh, okay, so, I mean, this is, not again. Not queso. This isn't like Chili Mac. dehydrated stuff. Now, Mythical Crew member Ben, your your brother-in-law, I've gotten information, he, uh, he, he, he was a Marine? He's, re he's a retired Marine. Uh, Ben told us that they use this stuff as like currency, they trade it because this is the one everybody wants. For me, it does not hold a candle to the chicken burrito. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not trying to offend anybody. This, this has a comforting quality to it. It's good. It's, it all comes together. But like, it's a little spicy too. I could too. almost be fooled into thinking that that chicken burrito was from a restaurant. Let me take another bite of my chicken burrito. I could almost think I was at a restaurant. I mean, am I at a restaurant? Is this a restaurant? That's what I started thinking a second ago when I was eating it. You're right. <laughs> I mean, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, shove it in there, and I'll close. I'll close the rock down. Good. Okay. Actually, you know what? Listen, we gotta move. You gotta move these. Let's up. move that up. I mean, I don't want to put it too low yet. We're gonna leave room just in case. Hey, and that's from menu ten, and that's from menu sixteen, and that's from menu seven. So many menus. And now from menu nine, <laughs> we've got beef stew. Beef stew and what? And nothing. Well, here's the beef stew, and I got news for you, stew. <laughs> it comes with multigrain bread. Oh, oh, is this from menu nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I didn't, yeah. If you had told me that from the beginning, <laughs> even though I did say it. So, <laughs> taking a look at the multi, oh my goodness, look at this bread. Is it multigrain? Did we eat this last time? Because I must have erased it from my memory. It's, it's a dense, but soft. Can I have? It? Yeah, break it off. Break off a piece. It, and it is perforated. Look at that. It it makes little. I'm going into the beef stew with the bread. Little sticks. That's a that's a nice oh, look at that. feature. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I got a big old Ooh, piece of. Oh, I beef. like that idea. Bread is a spoon. Mmm. This is pretty tasty, man. I gotta feel. I feel like I gotta go straight beef stew on this just to. Get a real test. Yeah, I don't know about the beef. Cause I think that's what brought down the, what's it called? The Asian style beef strips. Again, it's better than the Asian style beef strips because it doesn't have that, there was a spice in the Asian style beef strips that wasn't working. Uh, but it's clearly 
towards the bottom. I think you got to put that at number five, unless you unless you strongly yeah, disagree. Yeah, put it at number five, but let's not forget about these perforated multigrain wafers. I'm not going to forget about them ever. Because that might pull this thing up when it's all said and done. Push. Dustin Anderson, shout out to you. We read your comment, LOL. Y'all never tried spinach fettuccine. It's something else. Being in the military myself, if you come across one of those in your bag, it's better used as a pillow. Oh. Pretty good side items, however. Well, we're not testing the side items. Yep. Dustin, so we're, going, we're going going straight into it. How did I get to be the designated ripper? I mean, you're the one I'm the bread. The, I'm got, only the bread ripper. You've got the tactical yeah. vest on. I feel like I need a, I need a fork. For this one, your, your best friend right here, <laughs> ready for you. <laughs> oh man, I can already tell Dustin's right about this. That spinach, the way the spinach came through is a fish food sort of quality to oh, it. Really? <clears throat> if you think the Asian uh, beef is worse than that, then you're not my best friend. That's the worst thing I have tasted today. Dustin with a Y, you are correct, sir. Yeah, that's shift, that is shifting the scale. I mean, oh, it's actually shifting my my point of view. Like I'm, I'm not happy anymore. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're rock out, rock in, rock in. We work as a good team. Yeah, we do. Rock in, rock out. We could we could be like a medic, and then the guy who holds the medic stuff. Yeah, right. You're the guy who holds the stuff, right? Well, we can. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I'm afraid of blood. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, it's cooked up and ready to go over here. This is what we started out with, the beef shredded in barbecue sauce. It comes with some tortillas. Or and... shredded beef and barbecue sauce. I mean, I guess they didn't do the shredding in the barbecue sauce. Uh, Burbs. Oh, it's hot! Say it comes with jalapeno. Feel how hot that is, medic man. I, I, I kind of want to put that down my britches. I need, I need the tortillas, friend. Oh, you do? Okay. You could open one. I'm here for it, you, friend. Put it right there, friend. Now this is all very uniform. Huh. Uniform. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna see if you. Now, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna heat up my along. I'm heating up my my tortilla on that. There you go. There you go. Watch out. Move your hand. All right. Now you have the option of putting more barbecue sauce. on It says there. it comes with jalapeno cheese spread, which is wildly popular. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, cheese spread. You were holding back on us. Dang, I can't believe You're gonna keep that cheese spread for yourself. You were gonna be spreading on your own, I get it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, that is a pretty good sauce. Oh my goodness. Just a dabble dabble. See now this right here. Just a dabble do you. Feel excited. I, the ones with the tortillas are good, I think. Mm. Mm. But I mean, every once I like while, that barbecue sauce. Every once in a while you're eating pretty good because this is pretty good. Did we intentionally save the best for last? Because I think that's what's happening. To me, these two in the tortillas <clears throat> this are, is just tasty. Are, are better than everything else that we tasted. Now I've got my original chicken here. You still got some in the tortilla. I don't need to go back. This is comforting. Really? But look at that. You think this is better? I, listen. Look at the pieces of that. You've got real beans, real pieces of chicken. You've got corn, everything is intact. You could be fooled into thinking that you were at a restaurant. If you got this shredded beef at a restaurant, you'd be like, uh. Yes, that's, that may be the best, but this makes you the happiest. Are we going to do rock, paper, scissors on this? Yeah. I guess I'm kind of telegraphing. Yeah, okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so paper covers rock. <laughs> and uh, I'm saying, but listen, they're both very good. The two things in the tortillas are very good. But just because of the rock, paper, scissors, we are saying the, the official best meal that you can get in the MRE world is from Menu 16, the Chicken Burrito Bowl, followed very closely by Menu 2, beef shredded in barbecue sauce. Yeah. If you join the military to have fun, that's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, Rhett and Link, this is PFC Castile doing my tour in South Korea, and I just watched your MRE video, and with that, I would just like to say, it is time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, we got another one right now, coming up back at ya. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us try dessert and snack MREs in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Join the third degree quarterly or annual plan of the Mythical Society by December 31st to get the Rhett and Link bobbleheads. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.